you're back. This is Buzz Tom, home of fitness and entertainment. I'm Mandy, and we're talking Snowpiercer, episode three, mystery solved. I'm Mandy. I'm Dan. Subscribe to Buzz, Buzz Chomp. Chomp. Woo! Here's what I'm thinking about this episode, right? Everything's been pretty, pretty straightforward, which isn't a bad thing. I think it's made it for a really enjoyable first three episodes. They've set out the world of the series the first episode. They told us slightly about the murder. Now they set out more about the murder last episode. And now this episode, we're finding the key players and how and who could have killed this man. And right now, it's looking like it was the Folgers girl. Yep. Folgers Coffee, they like threw in that the mother, father, and daughter, and the bodyguard. That was kind of like what they were setting up from the beginning. So that's really what we're thinking of who's involved in this murder and who this mystery is all surrounding. Through Leighton solving this mystery of the murder of Sean Wise, we're kind of seeing even more of the pieces of this whole puzzle. So obviously this murder is like the backdrop to show us more of the world of this train and all of that. We see even more of the night car and we see the janitors. Yes, we see the janitors that they like rule third class. I'd say like the janitors are ruling the third class. And Mr. Wilford or AKA Melanie has no clue about this whole thing. Even her security guards, the one guard that gets blowjobs and gives drugs, he's like all in on it. Melanie normally has a clue about everything that goes on on the train. So I do not think that this janitor murdered Sean Wise. He didn't even know that Sean was an informant for Mr. Wilford. Even though Melanie and the guards and Mr. Wilford and all that claim to know everything that goes on the train, they don't know anything that goes on the train. They don't know that this drug is being passed down through one of their guards. Yeah, the doctor that puts the people in hydro fees is skimming those drugs off and that's what's creating this drug that Sean Wise was selling, that the janitor is selling, that the guard is selling. My mind is blown that Melanie knows nothing about this and Mr. Wilford knows nothing about this mystery and Lane solves it like, from the beginning of the series, we see Melanie and Ruth working hand in hand. They are handling first, second, and third class. Well, we actually haven't really seen much of second class yet. They just keep talking about it. But we've seen third class and we've seen a lot of first class because we have these Folgers who funded the train and all of that. We see how Melanie and Ruth handle them and they push up this fight night type thing to distract them from the murder, to distract them from all these things that are going on, from the uprising, from the drugs. However though, this mother, father, and daughter are directly involved in this. We have the rich girl and her bodyguard who keep giving each other eyes throughout these, really the first three episodes, and you're like, what's going on with them? Well, now when they're at the fight, yep, fight night that was moved up, they see Nikki, the woman that's cryo-frozen, and they see her, she's the witness to the first murder, and they give each other looks, and then by the end of the episode, Shaved Head Bodyguard is on the move, kills two more guys, and it's the two of them at the end. And he says to her, she doesn't remember him, but she knows who he is. Yeah, he's the guy that killed the first guy and probably killed the second guy too. And now he's probably gonna kill her and she's gonna be dead at the beginning of the episode. Now that means three more murders for Leighton to figure out. What this is really showing us is that Mr. Wilford and Melanie are not as in charge as they think they are. There are a lot of things that are going on on their train that they don't know about. It's how the train goes around, it's how everyone's surviving, but right now it's really how Leighton is going to use this information, bring the tail up. Really a revolution maybe by the end of the season could be cool, but honestly, if it's gonna go on for a second season, you know, there's not gonna be a revolution and a change just yet. Leighton's on his way to solving this mystery and we've definitely solved it. I'm Mandy, subscribe to BuzzChomp for more of our Snowpiercer and share with me. Do you think we solved this mystery or do you think there's gonna be a twist next episode? Yeah, kids, yeah. Thanks for watching BuzzChomp. Subscribe and share. Subscribe and share. Subscribe and share. share. Woo.